Y'all. Y'all don't understand how long I've been waiting for this package. I finally have it now. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Very, very protected. There's some mini controversy. So, I am going to be doing separate tutorials, so I might just wait for this one, okay? So this is what it looks like. This has the mini controversy. And then, you know. It's Christmas already. Also wrapped in bubble paper. Broken package wear. Broken package wear. Not here. And this is literally my first time ever opening it and seeing it in real life. Ooh. So, I'll let y'all see it first. Pay attention to the swatches and not my hair. Dang, is that a man? Those arms are really hairy. I'm not doing like a blue look today. I know for a fact I'm gonna do flat earth canceled in the simulation. Y'all ready for this? Starting off with primer, I am gonna be using the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer and I love this primer because it really does get tacky and allows my foundation to stick. <laughs> Going on to foundation, I am going to be using my NARS Natural Radiance Foundation in the color Tahoe. And I love this foundation. I feel like the application is so smooth and the finished result is so flawless. Now going on to concealer, I am going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Tan Sand. And to contour my face, I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty Instant Retouch Concealer in the color 445. This is the one that I usually always use, so yeah, I'm just sticking to that today. set this gorgeous makeup and I'm gonna be using my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder y'all know how I feel about this powder I feel like it's one of the best honestly Bam! Y'all 
y'all wasn't ready. All right, using the first color, I'm gonna be going in with Diet Root Beer and that's gonna be my transition shade. Now going in with Cancel, which is that beautiful blue shade. I'm just going underneath Diet Root Beer. And you're gonna see me pack the color on and then blend it out. Now we're just amping that blue up a little bit with the simulation and when I say those two colors together was flawless this blue pigment is so like bright and in your face it's unreal you would have thought I used something to amp it up but that's just the pigment the pigment is there yes ma'am <music> Now going in with my boyfriend's purse, I'm gonna be putting that in the inner corner of my eye just to give me a little pop of highlight. All right, now going in with Flat Earth. It's basically like a, like a whitish blue, like a sky blue, but very, very brighter and lighter. Um, I just use that because I really want to keep it like a white. I don't want to put too many colors and have it so intense in the front. Now I'm just taking canceled and putting that right after where I put flat earth and it's just going to keep on getting deeper and deeper. Going back in with the simulation and I'm putting that right after I put canceled and like I said it's going to keep getting deeper you guys you know I live for a smoky eye. I found a way to incorporate a smoky eye and I used my apology and it is like a purplish reddish color but when I tell you it definitely deepened the look up a lot it really did it but you can still see that it's a purple but it still goes very very perfectly and look how intense that is. <music> Going back with cancel because my apology was trying to cancel the color out and we couldn't do that. My apology, y'all like what I did there? I know y'all seen what I just did there. I already took the setting powder off off camera, um, but now I'm just using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color dark just to add some warmth into my face. My skin and eyes was looking good. Oh, I couldn't control it. For a contour, I am gonna be using my MAC blush in the color Blunt, and it is too dark for a blush, so I do use it as a contour or a bronzer. <laughs> For blush, I am going to be using my Fenty Shimmer Matchstick in the color Redick. And when you see the color, it does look intense, but you really can control the pigment that you put on.
Now I'm just using Cantu to apply that under my eye. I did want blue underneath my eye as well, so that's why I added that color. Setting my face with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, and yes, I'm almost done. Time to highlight, and I am going to be using my Becca highlight in the color Topaz. And when I say this highlighter is so pretty for my complexion, it really does shine perfectly on my skin. Now I'm just contouring my nose a little bit and I am using that MAC blush in the color Blunt again. I'm living for this palette y'all I wasn't living for this lip with my look this boy looks at me and started laughing I feel the same no way the lips no time to line my lips and to line my lips I'm gonna be using my LA girl lip liner in the color toast Lipstick, I am going to be using my NYX lingerie in the color Lace Detail. It's a perfect little nude. For gloss, I am going to be using Jeffree Star's The Gloss in Legends Only. And this is a perfect nude and it paired perfectly with my lips. And now I'm just lining my lips again with the LA Girl Lip Liner in the color Toast. And you can call me Miss Erica by Blue. Alright, so I created this eye look with the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star palette. This is the mini controversy and I knew that I wanted to make a blue look because these were speaking to me. These were blue shades. I'm gonna swatch it. So this is cancelled. So I'm just gonna... And then I'm just gonna <laughs> okay and then here's the simulation like these are so pretty okay and there's the simulation you see how smooth it glided on okay this is just the second coat so that don't really count I'm just trying to get it off my hands but as you can see, these swatched so perfectly. And look at that. Mm, I just knew I wanted to do a blue look today. Blue is calling my name, calling my name. I love the fact that it has a mirror. I love that. So if the package, if your if your palette does not have a mirror, then you have to step it up. Like what are you doing? I say overall, this is a really good palette. Like let me start off with the small one first, and then we'll work our way up i'm not gonna lie towards like the series i wasn't really looking at this palette so much i was really looking towards the conspiracy palette so i wasn't honestly gonna buy this one but i was like it's a shane dawson and jeffrey's art collection why not i'm kind of salty though because i bought this palette and they about to like have a better palette they about to have a, a better palette should i go get the other one too I might just get the other one too because that green was everything. If you don't like this one, then you can definitely get the new um, Controversy palette that's coming out that will have that beautiful green shade. This is like everyday wear these three shades. Um, you can do a little purple, you know, you can do the blue, you can do the pink and the purple. Y'all know what's up next though. 
be on the lookout because I will be doing a conspiracy palette review. Mm, mm, mm. I'm just so ready. I'm doing it tomorrow too. But yeah, this palette is very, very beautiful and this is not the end of this palette, okay? You're gonna be seeing this more on my channel because I'm not gonna keep on buying palettes and not using it. Like, it's stupid. It's stupid. It's stupid. It's stupid. And it's a waste of money. It's a waste of money. Ooh. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the makeup look. When I tell you I had a blue look in mind, I really did grasp what I was really imagining. This palette is very gorgeous and I love the look that I created with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.